For some economists who were involved in this story, there is a further question. Were their theories used to disguise political policies that would otherwise have been very difficult to implement in Britain? The nightmare I sometimes have about this whole experience runs as follows. Uh, I was involved in making a number of proposals which were partly at least adopted by the government and put in play by the government. Now, my worry is as follows, that there may have been people making the actual policy decisions or people behind them or people behind them who never believed for a moment that this was the correct way to bring down inflation. They did, however, see that it would be a very, very good way to raise unemployment. And raising unemployment was an extremely desirable way of, of reducing the strength of the working classes, if you like, that what was engineered there in Marxist terms was a crisis of capitalism which recreated the reserve army of labor and has allowed the capitalists to make high profits ever since. Now again, I don't say I believe that story, but when I really worry about all this, I worry whether indeed that was really what was going on.